Hello everybody, it's Tommy again and I got my face cam on once more. So today we will be reviewing the Sister Location Cosplay Mask. Now I actually do have a tutorial for each and every mask on this video including Bon Bon. You can just click on the link in the description below and you can make your own. Alright, so let's get started. Hello everybody, my name is Tommy, and this is my Sister Location Cosplay Set. So, let's try on each mask. Alright, so we're going to start off with Ennard. Now, Ennard is actually the most well-received mask that I've ever made on this channel. And, uh, I, I think he looks really good. He's a humanoid, uh, animatronic character with a white clown face, uh, party hat, and a red nose. That nose actually does glow in the dark. I just did it because I like low paint. Um, he kind of does look a little bit, uh, weird with the cheeks on it. I think I might have made it too rough and it needs to be a little smoother. Maybe it's too puffy. But anyway, other than that, I, I'm pretty happy with this. Oh, and one more thing. Exotic, Exotic Butters! butters. Alright, let's try on a different mask. Let's try Circus Baby. Why not love wearing masks? They're so much fun. So anyways, now Circus Baby is actually the protagonist of the sister location. And uh, she does have a fear of the scooping room, and she's got a pretty good reason to fear that room. But anyway, she's a very interesting character. I do like the design of this particular character. Um, she seems to be the very innocent type. Alright, well anyway, that's Circus Baby. I had a lot of fun making her. She's a very cute character, that's for sure. Go make one for yourself! In fact, like I said, you can make anything you see on this video, for sure. Where did she go? She disappeared. I'm just kidding. So anyway, let's, let's just move on to the next mask. Uh, let's check out the, the Ballora mask that I made. Okay, Ballora mask. Come on, put your mask on, Tommy. Put your mask on, put your mask on, put your mask on, put on the mask right now. Da 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 da. That's Ballora, by the way. So anyway, so now I'm putting on the Ballora mask. Now, Ballora is a really interesting character. She's a ballerina, if you haven't figured that part out. And her eyes are always closed. That's why, the, so this mask you actually cannot see out of. So you might want to make some small eye holes in there. Oh, there's Bella. Hi, Bella. See, look at that. She's so cute. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so Ballora, like I say, is a uh, ballerina. When she's near, stand perfectly still because she will chase you in the dark. Yeah, she is a nightmare and you do not want to be anywhere around her at the sister location. So anyway, that's Ballora. Oh my goodness, why did I do this? This is so cheesy, this horrible. I'm not even wearing ba I'm not even wearing a tutu. Like, come on! <sighs> Freaky up me for that scene, everybody. So anyway, moving on. Let's try on the Funtime Foxy mask. Now, Funtime Foxy, come on, take off the mask, Tommy. Yes, we've seen Ballora. Please take off the mask. Take off the mask, please. Thank you. All right, so I've taken off the Ballora mask, and now we are going to be looking at the Funtime Foxy mask, which actually has a moving jaw. You can make the jaw move without using your hands. So it's actually a two-piece mask. So first, you got to put on the bottom jaw, like so. You got to be really careful because this thing can actually snap at you if you take it off too quickly. So, yes, first first you put on the bottom jaw. There are different ways you can make articulated jaw. This is called an articulate jaw, And if you did not know. So, yeah. So, now we're looking at Funtime Foxy. Now, Funtime Foxy is a very, very popular character. And now, 
Now, the appearance of Funtime Foxy seems to be a combination of Foxy and Mangle, except this one is actually fully repaired. No scratches or anything. So, yeah, Funtime Foxy is a light activated animatronic, and I never did enjoy going into the Funtime Auditorium. You better make sure Funtime Foxy is on the stage before you go in there. Yeah. Um, so you gotta flash your light beacon and make sure that you avoid Funtime Foxy. Um, Funtime Foxy was the first one to jump scare me when I was playing Sister Location. Yep, I, uh, struggled at that part. That was a very difficult level. Um, anyway, fortunately I did get through, somehow. So, yeah, Funtime Foxy is a very scary, I would say probably the scariest character because of the way Funtime Foxy moves when you see Funtime Foxy. Mm-hmm. Very scary, like watching a scene from a horror movie. Alright, moving on. There is their Funtime Foxy lovable character. Wait, did that strap just snap on my face? Let's just watch that again. I'm going to show you what happens if you don't take this thing off carefully. The best way to avoid that fate from happening to you is to use both hands when taking it off. Or get an adult to help you. So anyway, thank you for that, Funtime Foxy. Alright, let's move on to Funtime Freddy. Now, Funtime Freddy actually features two characters. Funtime Freddy himself and Bon Bon that resembles Toy Bonnie. This mask also has a moving jaw and is put on the same way that Funtime Foxy. Just remember to be careful when you're taking it off. So Funtime Freddy is a pretty scary character. So he holds a hand puppet named Bon Bon and when you have to go and restart everything and things start to go wrong, Funtime Freddy is going to try to sneak up on you. Yeah, and then there's a time where you are probably going to have to repair him, and that is literally your worst nightmare. I didn't have fun doing that. It was very scary. <laughs> I had to turn the lights on for that scene because I just did not know what to expect. So anyway, Funtime Freddy is definitely, yeah, he's very scary, and he is also an entertainer from the Funtime Auditorium. So there you go, everybody. The big, lovable Funtime Freddy with a killer puppet on his right hand. Alright, let's take a closer look at Bon Bon. Alright, Bon Bon coming right up. Go get him, Bon Bon! Okay, so like I said, Bon Bon is a hand puppet that looks very similar to Toy Bonnie. And there is even a pink one named Bonnet, which you will see here very soon. So anyway, yeah, so that's the entire Sister Location cosplay set. I'm considering building the bodies for Funtime Freddy and Foxy. And I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video more than you enjoyed working at Sister Location. Alright, see you all next time. Bye bye. And there you go everybody. The Five Nights at Freddy Sister Location. I hope you enjoyed the show. Now go make yourself a puppet friend. <laughs>